Imagine a future where a family photo includes something you can't see, diseases that never arrive. That's the promise, and the puzzle, of heritable human genome editing. I'm talking about changes to DNA that don't just affect me, my kids, their kids too. Picture a hyper-real double helix like a glass staircase, each step a gene. With tools like CRISPR, we could swap a crack step, say, the mutation behind cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia, for a solid one. In theory that means no lifelong complications, no hospital corridors, no inherited pain echoing through generations. But now zoom in further, microscopic cityscapes where genes talk to each other in tangled traffic. We don't fully understand every intersection, and neither do scientists yet change one street and three others jam off-target edits unintended effects epistasis pleiotropy fancy words for the system is complex and surprises happen then there's fairness visualize two neighborhoods at night one lit by warm windows of health the other dim and left behind if enhancements creep in height memory athleticism do we bake inequality into biology? Designer babies isn't just a headline, it's a social fault line. There's also consent. Future generations can't raise a hand and say yes, or no. And morally, how far should we steer evolution's ship? At what point does responsible care become rewriting the species? So, here's the balanced walk. Heritable editing holds real promise to end inherited suffering. But before clinical use, we need rigorous safety data across multiple generations, transparent oversight, global cooperation and firm red lines against enhancement and inequality. Until then research with caution, open debate, and humility. Because changing a single letter in our code can rewrite a family's future, and possibly our shared human story. If you could fix one inherited disease forever, would you? And what would you refuse to change?